welcome back ladies and gentlemen <laughs> that's my intro yay we're streaming <laughs> sound like death anyways just gotta make sure everything's working and eh, you know what fuck it i hope it's working if not then i fucked up sorry oops i didn't even click on the damn thing there we go welcome back ladies and gentlemen boys and girls man oh wait hold up i actually do have to check on something real quick oops my bad Make sure that this is going over. Alright, cool. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, and everything in between. Hi, bots, how you doing today? Thank you for always showing up to my Twitch stream. What, what the fuck is the name of that one bot that everyone has? Like, Captain Sparkles? Captain Commando? Something? Sparkle Commando? Something like that? What the fuck is it called? Captain something? I don't know. But I always know that will be my favorite viewer. <laughs> it's a fucking bot. They followed me. Whoa. I don't ever get what the point of those bots are. They don't do anything. Do they? I know there's some like malicious bots that people put up there. But most of the time those things are really easy to avoid. Anyways. um, Welcome back to Maserect. Right? We're doing it. I feel like this should be the last stream. Uh, what the hell did we do last time? Last time we uh, we did Pinnacle Station and we did Bring Down the Sky. So we did those two, the DLC. And then I did, uh, what else did I did? I think I did like one little thing um, on one of the planets or something like that. Something with the Rachni. Anyway, speaking about that, between uh, this, this stream and the last one, I did what I said I would do. I did uh, the cleanup that I'm able to do. Basically, it was like two little instances, maybe three, that uh, two little weird, three little weird side quest things that weren't really that crazy. Um, one of them is just, you know, head to the other planets and, and like destroy whatever Arachni was there. So did that. Um, one of them is like you head on the planet and there's like an outpost of like people or whatever. And they're like, oh, you gotta go into the mines and kill the Rachni, and basically you go down there and you just kill like two enemies, and then you pop your little head out and you go like, I did it. There's no more Rachni on the planet. Yay. Right? So you do that. And then, um, what else? What else did I do? Uh, there's like a spaceship I went on and something like that. But, um, yeah. While I was doing that, found out, um, found out that... Uh, apparently there are like two bugs that are happening. I think it's because of the mods that I'm running. I think it's the diversity mod that might be fucking it up. Um, but over here, I couldn't find the last Salarian tag, right? And I'm like, that's weird. First of all, what's weird is that it says there's three Salarian tags, and I'm guessing that's because, uh, I didn't activate a mission or something somewhere, which I can't do anymore because I can't go to the Citadel. And I think that mission is like something that Kohoku gives you Admiral Kohoku or whatever the fuck his name is right so I wasn't able to get that I think because they changed how it worked or whatever one of the uh one of the community patches oh my god this is very loud in my ear holy shit how do I lower this I'm gonna lower that for me that's very loud wow okay that was very loud. Um, yeah. So, um, there's like two, two planet, not planets, uh, two like solar systems within the certain clusters that aren't loading for me. One of them over here, this whole entire playthrough, I'm like, what the fuck is this anomaly thing over here? Over here, this is supposed to be like, um, in this cluster, this is supposed to be like the, uh, Sparta system. You're supposed to get in the vanilla version. I believe you get it after you talk to Kohoku or whatever right but um yeah it just doesn't show up for me it's some sort of like some sort of bug that's happening with the um with the mod or whatever so uh over there is where we would uh pretty much get like one of the salarian tags that we need from one of the planets and stuff like that so i can't do that right and the other one is i believe in hades gamma no not hades where is it warrior cluster that one in the, uh, in the Voyer Cluster, there's Amazon over here, right? And down here somewhere is supposed to be Columbia or something like that. 
Um, that's just not showing up for me either. And that's where the other Solarian tag would be, somewhere over there. So, for some reason, again, I think it's the diversity mod. I think there's a bug in it or something. Or maybe like one of the HD, uh, like, uh, texture mods that I'm using. Uh, yeah, they're just not loading for me. And pretty much it's impossible for me to finish that, that little collection, right? Uh, also what I did was I grabbed whatever equipment I can for the team, right? Not everybody has Colossal Armor. The only ones that have it is Rex. Um, Rex, Tally. Yeah, Rex, Tally, and, um, Garrus. But Garrus doesn't have Colossal Armor 10. He has Colossal Armor 7, I believe. Because what you would usually do is, uh, when you're at the Citadel, you just want to, like, hop off the ship and then jump back on. You know, once you have all the licenses and stuff. Hop off the ship and then jump back on and, uh, what you call it, the dude downstairs that sells you your weapons and shit. He would, like, refresh his stock. Um, that... Well, since we can't go back to the Citadel, I can't abuse that little trick. So my only ways of doing that is either to find it out in the wild or um, to kind of like find ways to like uh, get the um, NPCs to restock their uh, to restock their inventory and stuff like that to see if it spawns in and I can buy it from them. But that honestly, that's going to take way too much time and I just don't have the mind capacity for that right now. So, I'm like, whatever, it's Mass Effect 1, it doesn't matter, we don't need the best equipment ever, right? We just need good ones, which we, you know, we pretty much already do. So, I'm not going to worry too much about that, but I don't have all that equipment. Um, besides that, I want to I wanna think, was there any other thing that I want to, like, any other, like, thing that I want to bring up before we uh, get started? I don't know. I guess we can go talk to the teammates, right? My mouth is like really dry right now. I'm gonna have a sip of my soda. Like really dry. Soda wouldn't help that, right? There's sodium in this shit. I should be drinking water. I think maybe that's why my mouth is dry. Because like, once if like the past day or whatever, like, I, I've barely been drinking soda for, like, a couple of months or whatever, so the past couple of days, I've just been having, like, diet soda. <laughs> What's up, Liara? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? This will all be over soon, Shepard. One way or another. Okay, thanks, Liara. I'm gonna assume nobody has anything, anything to really say, right? I guess I can just head downstairs and then fucking... See if uh, the teammates down there have anything to say, which they probably won't, right? Check that out, and then we'll head over to Ilos and get this stream going officially, right? I want this to be the last stream for Mass Effect 1. I'm done with this game. Looking for supplies? Any chance that you restocked? I wish that the mod or whatever, I wish that the community mod would just like have a section here that just says restock your shit. Like it'll be nice, but they don't. Let's see what you've got. You bet, command. It's not too much of a problem, but whatever. Oh, he has a shotgun, actually. Cool. I'm gonna buy that. Um. He didn't really restock. He just kind of. Well, uh, he restocked the things that I bought, right? Which I bought like two guns from him. I want to see something. If I just. I got a shit ton of money. It don't matter. Insufficient credits. Oh, you bastard. That doesn't matter. I got a bunch of bullshit that I can sell. There you go. Looking for supplies? I want to see if I just buy right now without leaving the Normandy. Would he restock it? Man. Probably not, but yeah. I gotta hop off the Normandy for him to do it. Maybe when we come back, he might have something cool there. You know what? Since since I'm just gonna do that anyways. 
Looking for supplies? Let me just buy whatever the fuck. Let's see what you've got. The last three, you bet, three you things bet. he got, so I can stop seeing this fucking stupid Kessler three. And then I'm gonna quit that shotgun because I do not have. There we go. Actually, while I'm doing that, uh, shotgun, shotgun. There we go. Okay, Rex, anything to say? Alright, nope. Rex. Ashley, anything different? Commander? Nope. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Garrus, anything? Commander. How are Nope. You? I'll inspect the Mako, get some XP. I think I'm level uh twenty eight, and I think the max level in this game is what? Uh well the max level in the original would be like fifty or sixty or something. But in the Legacy Edition, I think it's... I think it's... Is it 40? Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? No, I cutie, go. I don't need anything. I just yeah. want to see if you have anything new to say. Alright, cool. We're all good. We're all good to go. So, I'm thinking, who the fuck are we bringing to Ilos, right? And who's going to be joining us on our last mission? Well, we have five party members. And these are two separate missions. So someone's going to end up getting left out. And I think... In my mind, I'm like... I'm like, the person who has, like... The least... Connection to anything is Rex. But at the same time, we all love Rex. He's our boy. Right? So, I think with Isla's, I'm going to be bringing along... Um, I think I'm going to be bringing along Liara and Tally. Mainly because Liara is all about them Protheans, you know what I'm talking about? And then Tally's all about the Geth. And I'm pretty sure bringing them over to Ilos with us, they would want to see all the shit that they can see, right? Seems like it's seems like it's thematically appropriate. Especially if you're heading towards a place for the fucking Protheans, right? Like, you might want to have Liara come with you. Miss Prothean Expert. Everybody shut up, it's happening. Skipper? I'm not your commander. You don't have to call me that. I'm a traitor now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain. My Captain. It occurs to me that this might be our last night alive. Got any plans? Trying a frontal assault. Hm. All that training, you'd think they'd teach you the best approaches indirect. To draw the enemy out of their fixed defenses. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold word, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. Make me.
Well now, that's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> Damn, Ashley, really? <laughs> Let's make it 40. You still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Tisk. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Well, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait. You know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. I feel kind of bad after that, you know, just saying, Ashley, you're not coming with. Can't have you limping on the battlefield if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, God. That's the first time I ever romanced Ashley. Gotta say. I think I prefer it more to Liara. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. Joker we can have do to it. Try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. All right, Tally, Liara, you're coming with. Sorry, Ash. I think Ash got a got enough action for this part. <laughs> She's got the best scene. I love how Saren turns around. He's like, "What the fuck? What the fuck is that?" The job, Joker. We made it. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Tally, what the fuck happened to your armor? Some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Tally? Okay. Alright, that was weird. <laughs> I thought she was just wearing, like, regular clothes. I'm like, Tally? Where's your, where's your Colossus armor? You piece of shit. What are you doing? Alright, Liara, let's see. What am I gonna give you? Well, I'm gonna give you that. Um... Advanced throw. I can give you what. Increase warp duration. Now I'll just maximize your lift. There we go. Cool, we're good. The hell? What am I using? A pistol? switch over to uh i'm using the only like in seven weapon <laughs> the only weapon that's not that's not a fucking specter weapon God, I missed every shot. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Let's 
Let's see what our new sniper's like. Eh, pretty alright. Oh man, that's a good chunk of health. Test out the shotgun. Let's test it out by not missing, okay? <laughs> Just tapping on the shoulder. Bad enemy. How dare you. Alright, let me stop getting fucking shot at. Blast that fool away. Where the fuck's the enemy? What? Is he below us? All the fuck the way over here. Um, I'm. What the fuck? The enemies on the radar. I'm confused. Where the fuck are they? Can't be above us. Maybe they like fell through the floor or some shit. What are you shooting at? Oh, they are below us. Okay. They're like steps or something? I think they might have just fell through the fucking world. That dude's just, uh... Stuck in the ether. What? Hello? What the fuck was that? There was like an invisible wall. And it just like disappeared. I'm, I'm guessing the enemy fell through the world or some shit. I, I don't know. That's weird. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Not fast enough? Damn it. I'll try it again. Don't worry, I got it. I went straight into that. That's stupid. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with me? This is what happens when you don't get enough sleep. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so stupid now. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't do it. Oh my god, why did I stop? I kind of want to keep checking the inventory, see if it's like... If we get anything we really want. I shouldn't, though. Wait. How the fuck do I open this? Please don't tell me I have to, like, kill every enemy in the area for it to open. Okay, never mind. There's just a walkway over here. I'm just gonna hope that there was nothing important in there. In that area. There's an invisible wall. Okay. Jumpy bastard, go. Oh.
Sorry about- oh fuck, what the fuck, we being shot at? What are you shooting at? Where's this lead? Oh, this is an elevator. Okay. Let me check what's up here first. Might be some special shit. Oh no, this looks like a... Uh, that looks like progress. Alright. The elevator we go. You know what, Tally? I haven't really been seeing you. <laughs> I've been... I've been seeing Liara a lot. That's it. I'm assuming these are supposed to be mummified Protheans or something, right? Something like that, or like Protean statues or some bullshit. This way. You know what? I'm surprised you two are very quiet. I'm surprised you two are very quiet. I, I thought you guys would have like some sort of lines of dialogue or something like that. You know? Can oh, there we go. It must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Look at this fucking battle arena. Fuck, my little cursor was stuck. Wow, I had that, I had that, but I was too stupid to realize it. Here we go. Oh shit! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's on our side. Oh. Oh. Okay. You popped up a little too fast there, okay? Oh, come on. There you go. Just in case any more bad guys come around, you three can just shoot them down. Oh my god, why does it take forever to fucking... When I press the button, it's like a delay. Oh, I had it. Why am I having such a fucking difficult time with these ones? There we go, what the hell? Oh, that's a lot of money they just gave me. You sure you don't got no Colossus armor for me? Please? Come, Saren already has a head start. 
We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Some freaky shit's happening. Troy. Unable to invading fleets. <coughs> no escape. It sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. What are you this talking about, you idiots? It spoke English. Old. No wonder we cannot understand it. You can't understand it, you morons? The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. I'm only getting a couple of bits and pieces. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Really, Shepard? Shepard, you literally hear them say something's fucked up with the Citadel. And you go like, oh, I think they're saying something about the conduit. I can't understand it though, my brain hurt. Too much work for my little brain. My little lizard brain don't understand it. Meanwhile, it's screaming, the Citadel! <laughs> it's the Citadel! Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what's the point of coming up here? There's no reason for this balcony. Pretty sure that door I wasn't able to open earlier probably had like some bullshit in it, some story bullshit in it, but like I don't think that door would have opened unless I killed that Reaper that I couldn't get to. Not Reaper, what am I saying? The Geth? The one that was like falling through the floor. I enjoy our elevator rides and how I just stare at my teammates uncomfortably. Guns out, team. Oh wait, oh no, never mind. This is where it led to. It's a shortcut. The little Reaper guy is uh, still still stuck in the ground. I called him a fucking Reaper again. I don't know why I did that. It's not a Reaper, it's a Geth. We did it, team. In the Mako. I have spent my life studying the Protheans. But I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. <laughs> Please, Liara. You're making the Mako wet. Stop it. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong. This bunker... What? Why? Why'd you cut yourself off, Liara? What the fuck? Just gonna tank some hits, don't worry about it. <laughs> Flipping over my hood and shit. Do you recognize the music? It's the title screen. Whoa. It's almost like it's symbolic or something. What's this freaky force field? Am I high? Are you high? One of us is high here. What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. Yeah. Fucking Tally, calm down. 
It's a trap! We're all gonna die! Game over, man! Game over! Every time I hear, like, this fucking soundtrack, like the main menu theme of Mass Effect, I swear, my mind just goes, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. I have Yu -Oh. for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saturn would have triggered it as well. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought what you were saying didn't make sense, Tally, but what you said made perfect sense. I'm sorry. That was just my own stupidity. I, I paused for a moment there. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI. Whatever you do, team, don't understand. look directly into the VI's weird static light. Since you arrived at this Seizure facility. warning, because it's fucking hurt my eyes. My output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Yo, Vigil, can you like cut the brights? You're hurting my eyes, dude. Holy shit. Wow. All right. What are you, Vigil? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, what do you want? Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through and all you know will be destroyed. All right, cool. Good thing. I, I love that it takes the camera and points it away from Vigil because you're hurting my eyes a lot. And the fact that Shepard can just stare at it unblinkingly, that's some crazy moves, man. Anyways, so when uh, when you're on the Citadel, right, and if you're walking around with Kaiden, he's dead now. When you're walking around with Kaiden, sometimes when you walk past the little statue of the uh, mass relay or whatever, the little statue is not little, it's, you know, the uh, statue of the mass relay. Uh, Kaiden will make Kaiden will make a fucking little. You know, if you talk to him, he has a little line where he's all like, "Man, I don't know what's going on, but this area is making like my teeth chatter or whatever the fuck, like my teeth are humming or whatever the hell." Basically, that's his bionics kind of reacting to uh, the element zero in the area because that monument, it's kind of a mini mass relay, right? You know. And it's like, oh, is it a, you know, when you talk to Avina, they're like, yeah, the statue was here. Uh, maybe, maybe the Protheans or whoever the fuck made the station built it as like a monument to their, to their amazing discoveries and shit. And it's like, no, actually, fucking the Reapers made that. And that is a mass relay that connects to the dark, to the deep side of space where the Reapers are hanging out. So that... The people will find the Citadel, you know, set up their economy or like their, uh, their current, their current, uh, technological age or whatever the hell you want to say, <clears throat> set up everything around the Citadel because it's so damn useful, right? And then when the Reapers are ready and they're like, all right, that's it. You guys evolved enough. We're going to just flip some switches, <laughs> activate the Citadel. It's a mass relay, and we're gonna just start pouring through, and we're just gonna attack the shit out of everyone there. Let you all go extinct. Empty out the citadel. Rinse and repeat. Right? So, that's why when you head to the citadel, when the Asari, when the Asari and the Asalarians found the citadel, they were all like, hey, what the fuck are these weird bug creature things, these keepers? Nobody knows what the fuck they are. We don't know where they come from. 
right? All we know is that they don't interact with us and they keep the Citadel working. Hey, guess what? Those motherfuckers are there to make sure that the Citadel is working when the Reapers aren't there so that fucking life, new life forms can discover it. And so that, you know, they can discover it, see how useful the Citadel is, and then have the Reapers come through and fuck everything up. So, what's happening right now is that, uh-oh, SpaghettiOs, we done fucked up. We need to get back over to the Citadel and start warning people and finding ways to shut down that mass relay. Because if we don't get there in time, Reapers are gonna fuck up everything. That's bad. That's a whoopsie doopsie, right? It's the perfect trap. It's beautiful. It's brilliant. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system. They methodically wiped us out. Damn, all of you? Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power. This was all like, yo, you ever saw, like, products. Star Wars, though? Like, nah, they man. They found our archives. They knew where the younglings the were at. They wiped us all Some out. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered. Their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. Damn, bro. Why would they do this? That's crazy. What did the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? For the, the lulls, Reapers man. Are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely, they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I just want to do something real quick. Just want to do something real quick. Just need to check something real quick. Just make sure my microphone's working. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I have a deep fear. I have a deep fear of looking over and you realizing here for a reason. the microphone Tell wasn't going. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attack, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Damn, bro. That's crazy. So, did they find you? How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. Yep. So basically, Vigil's like, yo, hey, we came here to Ilos. We were going to, we were going to basically make our own little mass relay thing, right? And the Reapers didn't know about it. So this is like a nice little safe hidey hole. There was no records about it. We knew what was going on with the Citadel. Reapers didn't know we were here. So we started creating these stasis pods so we can, you know, survive out the attack once the Reaper are done doing what they're doing. But that shit took forever. And we do not have unlimited resources. So I had to make some sacrifices. And in order to save this information for you, one by one, I got to turn off these fucking 
uh, these cryostasis pods, and basically, they they all just died inside stasis pods. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? Fucking... This is like... I'm not... I don't think Vigil's an AI. I think he's just like a super... Yeah, he's like a super, super, super version of like... Of a super computer. <laughs> you know? He's like, listen. I was put with this failsafe, right? This information for future... For future species is more important than our race. Because the Reapers will inevitably do this bullshit again. You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Hmm. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. So basically, the Protheans that survived, they were like, Dude, the Keepers were there beforehand. Holy shit. It was a trap the entire time. So, we're gonna die. They're gonna do this shit again. But we can somehow delay it and send some sort of warning. So, let's hack into that signal. Fucking snap our fingers and be like, Hey, Keepers. Ignore the Reapers, but keep the Citadel running, though, right? And that's why Sovereign, the Reaper, needs Saren, because he needs someone to find a way to fucking stop that signal so that the Keepers can go and turn on, you know, flip the switch and have the Reapers come through the fucking, um, the mass relay within the Citadel. Brothians were on top of shit. They were like, listen, we're doomed, our species is doomed, but we're gonna stop this shit. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay and the cycle of extinction will begin again damn dog help me dude is there any way oh wow start? not not There's oh. a data file in my, my eyeballs take a copy when you go when you reach the citadel's master control unit upload it to the station it will corrupt the citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station it might give you a chance against sovereign wait where's the citadel's master control unit I've never heard of Guess where it is, that. idiots. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. People theorize that the keepers were coming from the uh the uh tower in the Presidium. Guess where the master fucking controls are? It's in the tower. Where the keepers were coming from. <laughs> Alright. 
Tell me about those Protheus scientists. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit they do? project? They use the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. That's cool. So, he's like, listen. They went to the Citadel. It was a one-way trip. They canceled the signal. And they probably just, over time, they died out. Right? Couldn't sustain a population. That's a theory. I don't know that. It's very possible that they found a way off the Citadel. And then maybe somewhere in some secluded area within deep space they're hiding out away from the reapers so when the reapers created the citadel they created the keepers as well a more likely scenario is that the keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations perhaps the very first perhaps they responded well to indoctrination or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. That would explain why nobody knows that the Keepers were uh, organic or inorganic creatures because there's a chance that the uh, reapers modified them in some sort of way sovereign must have realized that organic races were difficult to control a likely hypothesis the keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction non-organic servants like the geth would be more predictable Uh, yeah, I might as well just hit all the topics. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Just but think about it as, like, the chiral network during the invasion. from, uh, but once the Death Stranding. The survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors. But if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope. So a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function. But we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Fucking Protheans are metal as fuck. They were like, like the people that were left sat there and said okay we really really got to think about every type of possibility chances are we're not going to survive this shit if the reapers are trapped in dark space how did sovereign get here it is logical to assume the reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction a sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return like those in dark space sovereign probably spent most of the last fifty thousand years in a state of hibernation Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time, the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Okay, so even if we do save the day and we stop Sovereign, there are other Reapers out there. 
Sovereign's gonna deal a lot of damage. So, we, so, you know, we're gonna save the day, but, but the Reapers, if, you know, if the, if the, uh, Citadel fucking relay system isn't activated for the Reapers to come through, the Reapers are gonna have to slowly make their way over here manually. We bought some time, but not, but, it, that, that's all it is. We're just buying time. Stopping Sovereign, buying time, and trying to come up with a situation to deal with a whole fucking army of Reapers. The Reapers come from dark space? How do they even survive out there? They're machines. We only have theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter a prolonged state of inactivity to conserve energy. Effectively, they hibernate for the tens of thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secrecy? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to dark space. How come nobody noticed the Citadel is a giant mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. That's why when you fuck with the, with the Keepers and you're like, Hey, hey little buddy, hey little insect buddy, what you doing over there? Can I just see for a moment? They freak out and ex fucking explode. <laughs> they go, ah! <laughs> they just blow up, right? They're like, through all means, we cannot have you understand this technology. If you do, you're gonna go, oh shit, what? this is a trap? Alright, I think that's everything we have to talk to with Vigil. Good job, Vigil. Saren's got enough of Thanks, dog. Start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. You're right, but I'm pretty sure I just did everything it might that, that, we needed, that we needed to do. I will do. provide whatever information I can. I'm pretty sure My you just told us banks, however, everything that we needed. limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Yeah, see, we, we did that. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. You're hurting my eyes, Vigil. And now Vigil will slowly die off. The final warnings of the Perthians. Mass Effect 1 does a fucking fantastic job of building its story. And also providing a bunch of, like background lore and shit so good so good all their culture all their advanced technology and the protheans were taken in by the reapers just as we were they failed just like my people but they also gave us a chance to save ourselves we must hurry shut the fuck up tally i love you so much but it's not like your people. It's really not. <laughs> the Reapers didn't didn't offer peace. The Geth were like, yo, hey guys, it's okay. You, we, all we want to do is just be citizens, man. Even if it's like second class, we don't need food or nothing, we're good. And you guys were like, kill it! <laughs> kill it on sight! 
the Corian woke up that day, we just chose violence. God, the Corian are so fucking cool. Why are they so fucking cool? They're cool as hell, but they are the stupidest motherfuckers. Out of the way, loser. Going the right way? No, this is where I came from. dead <laughs> just knock him over wait a minute what the hell go back go back go back I'm not skipping I think that's just that's probably leads up to the uh, elevator or whatever I don't think I'm I don't think I'm missing like a little side nugget or something. Did I just call a fucking side area a side nugget? <laughs> I felt like I just did that. Is that what I literally just did? The conduit. It's incredible. Can you tell like I'm kinda tired? We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. It's okay, Tally, just blow it up with the cannon. Oh, shit. So now we gotta make a fucking mad dash over there. Cause we gotta teleport through there. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I thought that, I thought, I thought that we were gonna hop into Normandy and get there, but nope, we're gonna use the Mako to go through a fucking mass relay. I would like to switch up my teammates if I can though. It's okay to have Liara and Tally with us. Detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation.
That's right, Star Wars. Mass Effect did it first. <laughs> that moment in fucking what? What is it? Uh, episode 9? Not episode 9. Episode 8? Where, uh... Where they do that fucking light speed shit through the ship? Oh, fuck. Take your guns out and shoot it. <laughs> Just lay it out. Hey, Avina. How's it going? Experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not. I'm be honest. I thought we were gonna be given the opportunity to switch out our uh, our characters before uh, heading over here. If that was the case, I would have brought Garrus with me. I would have probably switched out Tally with Garrus, honestly. I want Garrus to shoot. I want Garrus and Rex to be here. I want my sons, man. I need I need Uncle Garrus with us. That's a freaky gun you got on your back. Wow, Saren, chill out. He's like fucking useless keepers. Bang bang. The Citadel's closing. They're sealing the station. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms. Sovereigns inside the Citadel. That looks very sexual. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, yes, I'm just gonna hop on top of this big boy. Good thing we were carrying our helmets with us. Do I just have like anti-gravity boots? What, what the fuck were magnetic boots? When the fuck did I have those? It comes in handy if we have to make repairs on our ships. I mean, you guys better be fucking used to it. We're fucking like space marines and shit. Yeah, uh, I was about to call her. I was about to mix the name Tally and Garrus. I was about to call her Galley. Fucking, you know what? You can keep your pistol out. It's fine. Actually, yeah, you keep your pistol out. It's fine. What's all for you? I'm gonna be on snipe detail. It's gonna be a lot of long range fighting here.
I somehow shot the Geth that was behind him. He's over there. Come on, peek your little head out. Just... Damn it. Oh, wait, did I hit it? I did. Your hitbox is weird. You got a weird hitbox. Ow. I was distracted by that. I'm writing his robot penis. What the fuck? I'm gonna assume that's one of uh, the cloned Krogan. Because <laughs> I'm like, the fuck is a Krogan doing here? What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? Where the fuck are we going? Are we going this way? <laughs> you made him T-pose? Really, Liara? Turn that on. Have that going, you know? Ow. There's another one over here. Wow. That was stupid what I just did there. Why am I even doing this? I should be using, like, Metagel. Not Metagel, Omnigel. Oh, that one just turned on like it was nothing. Bad guess. Stop it. Oh wow, did I really just kill that thing in one hit? to get out there. Go. Go get shot at for my amusement. How do I get up there?
can just use my funky fucking spells on it, right? My space moves. My electro moves that I barely use. Who the fuck? I use stasis on it for some reason. Come on, team. You guys are like all the fuck the way back there. There's a death somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Use neural shock on a fucking... <laughs> on a stupid machine. It ain't got no brain. It's a fucking machine. Why did I do that? Almost there, team. Don't worry. We're doing it. See how see how cool we're doing it? We're cool guys. Alright. Everyone, I want you to take out your biggest gun that you have. Because we're literally just going to blow through this entire <laughs> this entire fucking <laughs> boss fight. They are, I didn't give you anything, did I? Huh. There's a cooldown mod. It won't work, but... You know, it's something, right? I want all of you to shoot first and ask questions later. I got points for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Let's put it into charm, because I'm a charming guy. So you don't die and a little bit more shotgun for you all righty so back on vermeyer if you chose your your uh, paragon or renegade option while talking to uh while talking to um saren you can completely bypass this first part of the boss fight because he will off himself because he's like you know what i am indoctrinated I didn't even tell you guys to take your shotguns out, did I? Shotguns out, team. We're gonna blow through this popsicle stand. My man ate that like it was nothing. The hell? Die. Damn it, I was playing solitaire. I had the high score. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. What kind of cover is that, Shepard? Hmm. In time? Well, I'm here now, baby. Let's end this! You've lost. You know that. Shepard, that, that is not covered. In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeyer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand. So, I, Shepard, I was scared that I was, I was scared that I was indoctrinated, right? <laughs> I was scared I was indoctrinated, Shepard, and then you told me, so I was like really scared, and then, she, and then Sovereign was like, he was like, oh, you scared there, buddy? Don't worry, don't worry, here, have some of this, 
Have some of this purple drink that I made for you. It should cure that right up. By the way, do you want to be like more machine? And I was like, you know what? If I make myself a machine, I can't be indoctrinated. You're an idiot. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. You done fucked up, man. So I think this, like... Uh, if I had enough Paragon, you can choose this. Right? I got enough Renegade. He should, like, off himself. The Reapers don't use organics. They I will use my- <laughs> I have enough Renegade. As I will become low-tier god. Over, you'll be cast aside. I had no choice. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. Surrender or death. There are no other options. You could have resisted. You could have fought. Instead, you surrendered. You quit. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... For... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. There's still one way to stop this. If you've got the guts. Lightning shooting from my eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Renegade. <laughs> You can just literally put Shepard over the fucking low tier god meme. Uh. You should kill yourself. Now! <laughs> Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Hello, Normandy. Shit's Access fucked, man. Extension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The council is on board. I repeat, the council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel, and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up, and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension? Back. I love how Tally's the one that they made to be like, listen, I'm Quarian. Fuck the rest of the races, right? You know, just like the Geth. <laughs> it's like, if it was between the Citadel and the Quarian, we win, right? Uh, of course, fucking Tally would be like, yeah, yeah, survival. So, uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna save the council. Cause let's be honest, the hu I don't think the human fleet ever really does anything of any importance. And real talk, this thematically, it changes stuff for Mass Effect 2 and 3, but overall, it really doesn't fucking matter, honestly. So we're gonna save the council because even though the council are assholes, Guess what? They're still going to be they're going to be even bigger assholes if you don't if you get a new council in the next game. So uh might as well have some sort of loyalty. Also, this is definitely a Chad Wallington move. He would uh he would be like, "Got to save the leaders." Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the council appreciates this. They won't. They won't tell you. know they won't. Alliance ships move in. Save the Destiny Ascension.
Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Here comes the humans. To save the day for you fucking aliens. Make sure he's dead. Go put two in it. <laughs> Go put one between his eyes. Of course, Tally's gonna be the one to do it. You're pretty fucked up, Tally. He's dead. I think this is the rawest Tally has ever been <laughs> on my Mass Effect 1 playthrough. She's just been pretty renegade this entire time. So gross, you're nasty, dude. He basically becomes a Death Stalker. Sovereign, and this station is mine. Shotguns out, team. Shotguns out. Blast this fool away. gotta say, I definitely do like how the transformation for, uh... I can't shoot my gun. I can't shoot my... Oh, why is it stuck on cooldown? What is it going... What's going on? I think he shot me with something. I... Why can't I... Why can't I switch my gun? Thank you. That was weird. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I killed him. That was fast. I think what's supposed to happen with that fight, I think the community mod must have changed it. Because I think you fight waves, uh, you shoot him a couple times, then he hides. Then you fight another wave or something like that. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Negative. This is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Oh, now okay, we're still going. Yeah, but before before I wasn't able to shoot my gun, basically. I just like the idea. I like his transformation is like not supposed to be something cool. It's just like he's completely just completely fucked. You're like, oh shit. This shield's just taking a lot. Good thing we hit him with stasis.
<laughs> Watching him just fall down. Bad. Bad. Bad sovereign. Not sovereign. Bad. Bad. Stop it. Dude, I love how, like, no-nonsense fucking, like, de facto Admiral Hackett sounds. He's like, just shoot that motherfucker. Just get him. Guard on my flank. We're going in. That's such a perfect line delivery. I love it so much. Like a giant space lobster. Go. Oh no. A piece of sovereign came crashing through. What happened to the crew? Are they dead? Did they get squished? safe now. Where's the commander? Shepard's just walking off like, oh man, I really gotta take a shit, dude. Ambassador? Captain? Commander Shepard? We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance for... I wish Shepard just started going, disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. <laughs> that doesn't work, Shepard. We're, we're in reality. ...courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men. Bull shit. The council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander. One we can never repay. And you won't. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. I have. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. I am ruthless. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your Hatred. Has an indomitable <laughs> will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. It does. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The council needs you. So basically, they they're gonna sit here and just kind of recap. Ambassador, oh my God! Shut! Offer. Stop screaming! Humanity Shut up, Adina. strength to yours. We will take our seat on the council. We will need a list. 
of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure I love how they just kind of recap like whether you were commander. renegade or paragon. Or any particular candidate. <laughs> They're like, man, you're pretty fucked up, dog, but it works, I guess. Do I support anybody? Well, I mean. We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talk. And that's why I'm letting him in charge. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The captain's a soldier, not a politician. Udina, you literally didn't stick to your guns. Literally, they're asking for someone who shows the same determination as me. I think punching the shit out of your superior and risking treason in order to save the fucking world is it's pretty good enough. That's pretty good decision making. Like, he really didn't care about his position, but you did, Udina. Like, literally, you were not worth it. So, yeah, that that's the point, you moron. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The captain would be perfect for this job. The shadow of war darkens our future. Selecting someone with military experience is a wise choice. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, the Council, to defend them. Hmm. Listen, you got I'm gonna tell you it as it is, you guys are not ready. You didn't even want to listen to the fact, to the possibility that the Reapers could be real. How the fuck you couldn't even protect yourselves? How the fuck <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna protect the galaxy, you morons? Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're on the verge of a war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers, and we will drive them back into dark space. Anderson, what the fuck happened to your hands? Why are they, like, super red? <laughs> Speaking about red, you are super renegade. Here's your background. I think if I was Paragon, it would be, like, more blue. Well, it would be blue. There we go. That's Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1, down for the count. We did it. Alright. I'm definitely gonna get copyrighted for this fucking soundtrack. That's cool. But, um... Yeah, Mass Effect 1. Uh, get when the fuck did this game come out? Again, like 2006, 2008, something like that? Depend oh god, I am so gonna get fucking copyrighted for this. Oh no. Oh no. I kinda wanna mute it. I'm gonna mute it. I'm muting it. So, um... <laughs> I'm not. That's gonna be like super copyrighted when I upload that on YouTube. Holy shit. Um... So basically... The game came out like, what, 2006, 2008, something like that? Oh my god, I really gotta lower this, it's so loud. Um... <clears throat> I would say that considering the, you know, the time that this game came out, for the time it came out, this is probably one of the, maybe not the exact best way to start, like, a trilogy or something like that, right? But it's definitely, it's definitely a, a step in the right direction. And the reason I say that is because there's just way too much. I understand that they wanted to try something new. They wanted to do ex uh, exploration and stuff like that. But... You guys didn't see most of the Mako shit I have to do, right? You have to run around in the Mako on, like, a bunch of planets. <coughs> like, 
and it's just boring and empty and it's not really fun it controls like shit and let's be honest if you're not going after the main missions and stuff that's literally like i want to say 80 percent of your gameplay maybe that's a big chunk let's say 75 percent of your gameplay is just that right there uh surveying planets and like going to pick up shit in the mako and doing all that it is uh it does not age well, and even when the time it came out, it definitely wasn't that good. But the story writing and all the like major missions you do and stuff like that, and and uh, even for the time it came out, like the fact that choices you make in the game do have some ramifications and stuff like that, and actually do matter and will matter in the sequel, which is something that they. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm fucking around with my soda can. Um. You know, something that they're going to make a big deal in in Mass Effect 2. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely was like a breath of fresh air, especially when like other games that did that, like, uh, like Heavy Rain wasn't out yet. So before that, it would be like fucking Indigo Prophecy and all that other shit where it's like it gave you the illusion of choice. Your choices, you know, it mattered a bit, but not really that much. Um... So having a game where where that actually, you know, you had you had two ways to play the game, right? It it definitely uh, also also upped the replayability factor as well. Um way more than any other game at the time. Well, maybe not any other game cuz text-based games and like the original Fallout and stuff like that still existed. But um it's definitely it it's definitely was a breath of fresh air even though even though overall Overall, let's be honest, <laughs> you play Mass Effect 1 just so you can kind of relive it, and you can also just, uh, what, what's the other thing? You play Mass Effect 1 so you can just take that shit and carry it over to Mass Effect 2. That's really the only reason to go back and play Mass Effect 1, like, nowadays, because it, let's be honest, Mass Effect 2 is just way, way better. It might be the best out of the trilogy, right? Which is really crazy because it steps away from the uh it steps away from like the main like the main story. Like that takes more of a backseat in Mass Effect 2 and it focuses more on like just your crew and like all your space adventures and shit. And I think that's like literally the best part of Mass Effect that everybody just wants. We just want more of that. Right? But um you know, Mass Effect one, great. The gun the uh the gameplay of it pretty good pretty solid i understand that like it's kind of limited i play i played it differently because i just know that the, the way i play i'm just like i'll just put up barrier right and just shoot things but if you if i didn't have barrier and i have to constantly like stop and tell my my uh, teammates what to do and stuff like that and all the other shit like playing original mass effect you definitely uh, get tired of pausing the game basically pausing the game every two seconds just to tell your teammate to like use their abilities and stuff like that to help you out. The mods definitely helped out a lot. Um I didn't want I didn't want the mods to change anything too much. I tried my best not to have too many mods that would change a lot of things. Just things that would make it a bit better to play, right? Um and for the most part, for the most part I did that. Also being able to play Pinnacle Station, that was pretty cool, right? Nice that I got to play that for the first time. Yeah, but uh, what else to say about Mass Effect 1? I mean, it's very data. It's kind of like I view it kind of the same way like uh, when we did the Borderlands 1 playthrough. Where um, where at the end of that, I was like, do I like the game? Yeah, I like it, but it's very dated. And like there's really no reason to go back unless you're just curious or unless you just want to see the stuff before the sequel. So like in that in that kind of sense, Borderlands and Mass Effect 1 are kind of the exact same feeling, where it's like, if you just want to go back and play the stuff and see the stuff, you know, Mass Effect 1 has a little bit more reason to do that because, you know, your save transfers over to Mass Effect 2. But um, pretty much they're exactly kind of in the same boat for me. It's like, if you want to go back and play them just for, like, nostalgia or you just really, or if you just really like the way the game handled it, you know, that's really the only reason to go back, like... If you're gonna look at it objectively and be like, is it like nowadays, is it worth going back to? No, not really. You can kind of ignore it, right? You can kind of ignore it. And Mass Effect 2 also does a 
amazing job of catching you up to speed and letting you know you can choose whether to uh transfer your save or start a new game in that one and when you start a new game it basically just tells you like here are the major choices that mattered right pick the ones that you're gonna pick and then you know we'll catch you up to speed and doesn't really matter all you need to know is that things happened right these characters are alive these characters are dead these are the choices you made and then you killed the big bad at the end of the game let's hop into mass effect 2 and then it's also really good because mass effect 2 uh just kind of like since it takes a back seat from all the reaper shit you know for the for most of the game it's really good to just kind of ease you into that storyline as well they do a good job of that so yeah there's really no reason to go back to mass effect 1 unless you just enjoy it you know just exactly just like borderlands 2 does the exact same thing it's like here's what happened it's like here's what happened uh, I'm trying to even think what happened. Bro oh yeah, now I remember the story of Borderlands 1. I have to think for a moment. It's like, here's what happened. Some shit happened. These are the people that are alive. These are the people that are dead. Uh, fucking, sometimes they don't even tell you who's dead in, Ma in uh, Borderlands 2. If you didn't play Borderlands 1, you wouldn't know who the fuck TK Baja was. You'll be like, who the fuck? <laughs> right? So they're like, you know, here's all the things you need to know. Catch you up to speed. Here you go. Play the game. Have fun. So yeah. That's it for Mass Effect 1. Next time, when we, uh, let me see if the, let me see if the music is still going, actually. Oh no, it's pretty quiet. I can switch the game audio back up. Cool. I can turn it back on. I mean, it stopped. The music stopped. So, there's no music playing or anything. So I can put the game audio back on. I thought that person's last name was Bitch for a moment. You see that? <laughs> it, it's like Bitch. What the hell was that? Anakin, oh, Anacon, and Anacon, what? <laughs> Anakin, is that Mike Sass? You sassing me, boy? I gotta stop reading these names. They're very fun, though. John 4? Ain't no fucking way your last name's a number. I can't trust you. I can't, tr your last name's a number? <laughs> Derek Sidebottom, bullshit, these are fake names. These are fake names, these people aren't real. Sidebottom? Why am I reading these? Sam Decker, <laughs> Steam Decker, Wayne's lonely, he is lonely. Okay, let me just, I just want to see, I just want to see one more fun name. Chuck Norris Tuesday, what? <laughs> Wait, what? This special thanks to Chuck Norris, is that what just, <laughs> really? Chad Billingsley, CJ Prober. I gotta stop reading these names. I'm losing my train of thought. I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. Oh yeah, so uh, next time when we come back on the stream, right? Uh, I think it's time for us to uh, it's time for me to make good because I, I definitely wanted to do this before the end of the month. Uh, well, I wanted to do it before the end of last month, but I guess it's the start of this month. But um, not the start. It's been like a week. It's, we're almost like two weeks into fucking June, right? That's what we're in. We're in June right now. No, we're in July. What am I talking about? We're in fucking July. But, um, it's time that we go back to, uh, the world of Ace Attorney, right? It's been, it's been over a year since we played the great Ace Attorney Chronicles, like the first game. And I think, I'll be honest, I think that game kind of like burnt me out a bit because except for like maybe one or two trials, the rest of the game was like a really slow burn. And, you know, I heard that's the point. It's supposed to be set up, kind of like Mass Effect 1. It's supposed to be set up for the second game. So, next time we stream, we're going to be returning back to the world of Great Ace Attorney. And we're going to do the second Great Ace Attorney game. Start that up. Uh, continue that mystery. And hopefully, get everything that we need to... Get everything? What the fuck am I saying? Uh, hopefully, have a great time, right? I think the last time we left off, uh, Mikotaba that's her name right i think she had to like leave to go home because her father was ill or something and then there was like this whole thing about like a script and uh and um what the fuck is the kid's name iris fucking like her dad and shit like that and then there's also the uh <clears throat> there's also the issue with the uh with the english woman whose name i forget who had the swan on her head 
fucking uh she did murder but somehow she got let off with a misdemeanor right she committed murder somehow she got off with a misdemeanor um and she tried to set us up and uh yeah there's a lot of things going on in the background and i would like to get down to that so next time we stream we're gonna be playing that it's been a while uh it's been a well i'm not gonna say it's been a while since we did a, a visual novel because i did do the one stream with uh with digimon survive and i do want to go back to that but i feel like great ace attorney we need to get back to that also since they're going to be releasing the uh the uh ace uh what was it called apollo justice i think that's his name right the apollo justice trilogy is it a trilogy apollo justice collection whatever the fuck they're going to be releasing that and i think i want to definitely finish great ace attorney before we go into that ghost trick also came out right but um I'm probably I'm not sure if I want to stream Ghost Trick or like play for myself. I might just record it. I don't got time to record games though. Speaking about recording games, um over at the YouTubes, you know, link to my YouTube, uh what what what's my YouTube? <laughs> it's literally the same thing, Firestorm Zero underscore zero, or it's just Firestorm or whatever. Uh, at Firestorm Zero underscore zero, I think that's what it is. Um, it should be that. If it's not, then I gotta fix that up. YouTube's URLs are fucking weird. They've been changed. They changed them like fucking five times. It's so annoying. Anyways, over at YouTube, you know, same thing, right? Gonna be continuing the Pokemon Marathon stuff with Crystal, with the Crystal playthrough. So if you're interested in that, please go check that out. Um, you know, uh, the 100% Breath of the Wild stuff. That's going Breath of the Wild, not Tears of the Kingdom. I know what I'm saying. Breath of the Wild, right? That's gonna be continuing. Um... It's 100%, but, like, the way that I'm doing that playthrough is that uh, I'm just going to upload all, like, the main parts. And then if anyone wants to go and watch, like, a non-commentary version of me just going around and fucking grabbing the shrines and doing all that shit, I'm just going to upload those. They're, they'll probably be unedited, honestly, because I, it's been a while since I recorded them. So if I go to edit them now, I'll fucking forget the parts that I need to cut off. And since there's really no commentary happening for most of it, fucking, um... I can just put it up there. I can just put it up there. It doesn't fucking matter. It don't matter. It's just bullshit, really. Um, so, Breath of the Wild, Pokemon Generation 2 uh, for the Pokemon Marathon. Um, the Resident Evil 5 co-op stuff, that's going to be going up. That's still continuing. Well, I mean, it's it's been recorded. It's been recorded forever, but since we have audio hiccups, I have to manually go in and, and try and fix the audio, which makes it really annoying to edit it so that playthrough is going to come out very slowly and who knows the audio may not even be that great but even though the audio is not that great i'm telling you guys it's one of i definitely had so much fun doing that co-op uh, playthrough and i'm not just saying that to be like oh go watch my video like no it, i literally legit had a lot of fun doing it um it was a great time it was a great time and and i have to i have to get it out because we're, we really want to do resident e we want to do the other resident evil stuff we want to do um we want to do uh revelations 2 co-op and we also want to do resident evil 6 and whatever other resident evil co-op games there are you know and we're doing a three-way co-op with the with the which called it um revenant of the ashes is that what it's called is it revenant of the ashes yeah so we're still we're still recording that we just got to find time to record that but um fucking we're having a lot of fun with that it's just that the audio for that playthrough got severely fucked up, so uh, I'm gonna try and fix it. So when you watch it, prepare for some audio to be kind of messed up, but it overall it should be a good time, right? Um, besides those three, what else do I have going up? Uh, the Miles Morales streams. Uh, it's basically just two streams that we did because that game's pretty short for streaming, anyways. Um, so, Spider-Man Miles Morales, because I wanted to redo that game, because my original playthrough, like, when I uploaded it, fucking, uh, I uploaded it in the wrong quality. So I'm probably gonna be taking those down, right? Because, let's be honest, nobody's gonna watch it at, like, fucking 480p, right? Also, I don't know, I just, I think I just prefer this other playthrough better. Um, what else is there? The Borderlands 1 co-op streams, I'm gonna have to be up, I'm gonna upload those but before i do that i want to get i want to get some uh artwork done for it so it's going to be a bit 
before those get uploaded, but I still have the uh, VODs and stuff. And of course, towards the end of it, I have to go and I have to fight uh, Terramorphous. Is it Terramorphous? What's the name of the fucking secret boss in uh, Borderlands 1? I think it's Terramorphous. No, that's the second one. The second one's Terramorphous. I don't remember what the first one is. Whatever. Um, Crab Boy the Invincible. That's his name. I don't fucking know. You know, so I'm gonna have to upload those, and then of course I'm gonna be uploading the Mass Effect stuff. Um, the Mass Effect stuff will probably go up before the Borderlands One stuff uh, over at YouTube. So that's happening all on YouTube again. Firestorm Zero underscore Zero at YouTube, right? And then you can follow me on Twitter if you're so inclined. It's the exact same thing. Firestorm Zero, uh, Firestorm Zero underscore Zero. I hate saying it. Over at Twitter, if you want to follow me there. I try to be active, but sometimes Twitter gives me a headache. So, uh, yeah. If you want to follow me there, you can do that there. If you want to support me directly, get a tier one sub over here on Twitch. And I think that's everything I need to say and everything I want to say. So, once again, next time we stream, Great Ace Attorney 2. And hopefully that will go lovingly. As always, I want to say thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy. Stay healthy and take care.